project management protege simply on the normal timeline would shadow their PM uh, through all of their team meetings. Uh, we choose up to four to six teams depending on the sizes of the teams, the size of the projects. As for the actual duties of the job, I went to all of the team meetings and I went through all of their documentation every single week. I would write reports essentially going over all of their agile process and the agile process specifically is just a way of development so sprinting is the main way of agile um, but i would go through every sprint going through all their slides their videos their documentation releases so on and so forth guiding them and coaching them on how to better show the work that they've done because teams can do the work but translating it into formats where somebody that's not as technically inclined to interpret it as the client, that's the big kind of gap. And that's what where I come in is teach them how to talk to the client, basically. I'd say what I learned this year as a project manager protege versus being a project manager last year for a single individual team was how to manage multiple levels of industry or people, which I'd say is a pretty important skill if you're looking to scale up within a job market. So. I essentially went through what you do in a normal industry is upgrade from a developer to manager and to even a higher end manager, which is managing whole entire teams at once. I'd say go for it, but just make sure you have good communication with your cohort because that's actually probably one of my favorite things about School of Computing, specifically software engineering, is working with my cohort and those you know, guys and gals were some of the greatest people I've met so far in my schooling experience. So they'll be with me for a long time.